Hi there, my name is Andy Ismaili, and today I'm going to show you one of the new scheduling features that you can utilize in Micromind 20.5. The new feature we're going to discuss today is the new Gantt chart options, and to really be able to do that, I've got a schedule in front of me that's rather visually unappealing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Gantt chart options and use it to customize the display of the schedule. So the first new setting that you can utilize is the ability to customize the weight dates are displayed in the task grid list. As you can see, you have three options here. You can choose to display the date only, the time only, or the date and time. The same applies for duration, where you have a number of new settings. Um, so you can control how durations of tasks are displayed in the task grid list. The next feature we're going to look at is the show task bar labels. And what this allows you to do is effectively display labels next to each task in the GAN. How this works is you can either specify a task attribute via the expression editor, or you can set up an expression to create a label. So in this particular example, I'll go back to the expression in a minute, or I should go back to it now actually. What I've said is if my activity is drilling or drill, then I want to see the drill meters next to each drilling task. So that's what Micromind's done there. So what I'll just do is I'll set up a task filter. And as you can see, next to each one of these drilling tasks, Micromind has added a label corresponding to the drill meters. If I was to create another example or show you another example, what I've done here is just added, added two more labels. So for example, over here, I've said if the activity is dig, then I want to see the ore tons um, next to each digging task. And in doing so, I want to have a tons suffix at the end of each label. So this is the sort of thing that you can accomplish with expressions. Maybe I'll just apply a bench filter because that just allows us to see what's happening on one bench. So here, as you can see, I've got the drill meters next to a drilling task, the blast volume next to the blasting task, and then next to one of these digging tasks, I've got the ore tons. So that's the tons and that's the ore tons. So it just allows me to sort of be able to look at the Gantt and quickly uh, query the properties or key properties of each one of these activities once I've set up the labels. In addition to that, as you can see, each one of these bars has a specific color. And that's because what I've done over here is I've set up a, a task attribute and based on that attribute, I've created a color set for each one of these activities. And then I've assigned those colors to the Gantt so that I can quickly identify my drilling tasks, my blasting tasks, and my digging tasks. Finally, there's some additional settings for customizing the colors of the dependency links between tasks. As you can see here, these are some of my dependency links. In this case, they correspond to auxiliary task links. And I can customize the colors so maybe let's go red, so it's very obvious. And as you can see, the color of those dependency links has now changed to red. So before I go, I just want to mention a couple of other major improvements to the scheduler. One of those is the new or improved task properties window. So as you can see, it's been significantly revamped. It's resizable. And it, there's a lot of neat features in here that um, effectively improve the usability of um, this window when it comes to modifying or querying the properties of a task. The last thing that I should mention is the added ability to edit the properties of a task via the properties window. So when I select the task, I can then go to the properties window and edit one of any of these properties associated with that task. We've also made some great improvements to the way the properties of tasks are displayed in the properties window. So in this case, I've just got one task selected. But when I've got multiple tasks selected, I additionally have an attribute summary section, which summarizes the properties of all the selected tasks. Um, when I've got tasks from different task types, so for example, I've got a drilling task and a blasting task, I still have that summary section. But Micromind splits up the properties window so that I'm seeing all the selected tasks of a given task type and attributes associated with those task types. So I have so much information at my disposal here once I've selected the tasks that I'm interested in querying. One thing I love about this is that if I've got too much information in front of me, I can collapse any of these sections so that I'm only looking at the information that's most relevant to me. 
that's all I wanted to cover for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and we look forward to receiving your feedback on the new features included in Micromind 20.5. Enjoy.